Okay, so now I've removed, I loosened, loosened both of these, and then slid this bellows back. Once they're both, once they're both loosened, I can slide it on that shaft. So now you can see joint three is able to move freely here. So now I'm trying to figure out how to get how to get that apart. I've got a lot of cables and things that are left over in here from when the robot was hooked up. Someone ran a bunch of stuff through. So you can see there's a pass through. That goes all the way out and can end up near the uh, near the hand actuator. So this is joint three's ring and joint three's pinion is right right in there. So I think this whole gearbox has to come out. And if we go over to the other side, yeah, look at that. There's no screws or anything visible on the other side. So how does that come apart? Yeah, nothing comes through. So there is, that's inside where the not sure what that is. Motors for the wrist, I think. Um, ay, ay, ay. Well, okay, I think I'm going to have to go look at the book and find out how the heck that joint comes apart. You can see a whole, you can see the whole gearbox in here. Probably get the pinion out right there. It's gotta. Oh, hi. Hi.